This is a small Amish dairy farm south of Strasburg, Pennsylvania, and we have worked to improve both the manure management and stream management on this farm with different programs. The actual goal for this whole project was to keep all the nutrients contained and collected. And obviously being so close to a stream here, before these practices, that was hard because he had a lot of uncollected and uncontrolled lot water and manure getting directly into the nearby stream. There's a system of gutters. The manure flows in the gutters to the pipe and it's a 24 inch pipe inside the barn and that gravity flows the manure into the storage. There's no pumps here. He doesn't have to pump the manure. Also, we're collecting the milk house wash water. That goes right into the gutter and is transferred down here as well. It is a gravity system and we have five feet of elevation difference, believe it or not, from the top of this tank to his cow walk. When we're designing these storages, there's lots of things we have to consider. One of the things we need to consider is what's all getting collected. The manure, the bedding, the wash water, and in this case here, also the rainwater. And he has a large, um, above average sized barnyard that gets a lot of rainwater, direct rainfall on it, that's all sloped to the pit. One of the things also we need to consider is taking away the spouting water. We do not want that to fall in the lot because that would end up in the pit. So you can see for this project here, we did a lot of the overhead spoutings and downspouts and took them all underground and took them away from the lot. So the only water that we deal with is what directly falls on the lot. And there's curbing on the sides as well, so we don't want any any manure going out and we don't want any water, upslope water coming in. So it's a controlled barnyard. This is an improved cattle crossing. It's a secure way for the livestock to cross the creek, but also one that minimizes the impact that those animals have on the stream. The flood risk is very low because the crossing is installed at the stream bed level, and it also allows us to control the access that the animals have to the creek, so that this spot right here at this crossing is the only place that the animals can come in contact with the water. These are what are called hog slats. They're made of concrete, and they are very stable and cost-effective. These tiny streams that you can jump across are the most important streams to protect with buffers. These tree tubes are containing small seedlings. This farmer has enrolled in the CREP program to plant this buffer, and the minimum width for a CREP buffer is 35 feet from the edge of the bank out. Trees and grasses and shrubs between their pastures and their cropland and the stream. That buffer helps filter runoff that might be flowing toward the stream, but it also creates a forested environment around that stream so that we can bring the natural functions of that stream back. Nitrogen and phosphorus that gets into the stream can be processed right back out of that stream by all of the healthy organisms living in the water. Small dairy farmers in Lancaster County have a lot of challenges. So, when we talk with a farmer, we try to figure out what his needs are and then bring both technical resources, financial resources to that farmer to help him make improvements that might be difficult for him to do otherwise. All these small farms are important to do conservation work because really, you know, it's kind of cliche, but one farm at a time makes a difference. If fish could talk, they would tell you. And if they had thumbs, they'd tell you too. <laughs>